real and lasting change also requires Congress to do its part and to do it soon. That was President Obama just minutes ago addressing police officers in Minnesota on gun control. We'll have that and so much more right here, right now on the News Hub. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. With the details of that speech and the more on the gun control campaign, we've got Jerry Sive of the Wall Street Journal coming to us from Washington, D.C. Uh, Jerry, um, thanks for being there. It seems like another day and another call for gun control. Is, is this a sign that it's getting traction or a sign that it's losing traction? Well, look, I mean, it's, it's moving ahead. I think that the White House realizes that the president's going to have to keep pushing it ahead because there are a lot of forces trying to slow down uh, this movement. Uh, so I think you're going to see more of this. I think it's designed to keep up some pressure. Uh, but I think the, in the background, what the reality is, is that it's becoming clear what can and can't happen here. Uh, you know, the Senate is going to move soon a bill that includes some gun control measures. It won't probably at the outset include the one that's kind of the holy grail for some people in the gun control movement, which is a ban on so-called assault weapons. Uh, that's going to be offered up on the Senate floor, but uh, very few people think the votes are there for that in the Senate and certainly not in the House. So I think what the president is dealing with are sort of the realities of what can and can't be accomplished in the gun control debate, but trying to keep it moving forward anyway. Now, what, what, what else do you expect to come out of the White House? I mean, the, the, the speech he made today, um, while, it, while it was uh, a usual high-quality speech, there was actually really nothing new in it that we haven't heard before. Well, no, but I think that this is where you use the bully pulpit. I mean, there's, there's going to be legislation. The White House isn't writing it. It's going to let the Senate Democrats in particular start the process of writing gun control legislation and then try to create pressure to keep it moving forward. You know, it's, it's particularly uh, important in, in you know, states like Minnesota, which are kind of somewhere in the middle on a subject like this, to go there and, and to create some pressure on the ground. It makes it easier for lawmakers from states like that to vote for a gun control measure, whereas they might be inclined to just take a pass or duck uh, if they're there's not a little presidential pressure. So this is not really about the substance. This is about the climate for gun control legislation. Okay. Well, we shall see.